we've split the teams into two, the red and the blue team. And uh, what they've learned along the way so far, whether it's uh, vegetables, mushrooms, meat and fish, we've given those ingredients back to them. We want to see what they've learned so far. So yesterday we split them into two teams and they basically came up with the menus that you've got in front of you today. Uh, so you guys are lucky enough to have a six course tasting menu. So it's going to be starters from the red, starters from the blue, mains from the red, mains from the blue and vice versa. What we want from today is to have a winning team but also I think what's really important is for the chefs to have that sense of achievement. They've literally done everything from start to finish on this menu, from the planning to, you know, to splitting out who does what on each of the dishes, um, and they're going to be doing everything out the back there. Me and Andy have obviously kept our eye on them, but to be fair, they've done such a great job so far, um, it's made our lives quite easy. So um, that's, that's basically the running order of the day. I hope you enjoy the food. I know it's going to be good, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you at the end of the meal. Thank you. Right, welcome everybody. Thank you ever so much for coming along today. I hope you're all going to have a, a great day. We can talk a little bit about how it's all going to work a little bit later. But first of all, I'd like just to put your hands together for the, the uh, exclusive Chefs Academy team, or teams as they are today. So we're going to wheel them out in, in their uh, hundreds. Just right on cue. They all are. These are the guys that are going to cook you today. If they get it wrong, you know who they are. So yeah, so today, well, let's talk about the Chef's Academy first. So the Chef's Academy was was born in uh, July of, of this year. It was a, a, a brainchild of our director, Danny Peccarelli, who, um, who, who kept Hotel, Hotel of the Year, actually, we can say that now, who, um, who saw uh, an opportunity whereby you know, young, young chefs would come into our exclusive hotels and not stay for very long. They would some for six months, extract all the information, all the recipes from all the great chefs, and they'd move on to another kitchen and probably do exactly the same thing in six months and moves on. We felt, well, Danny felt that uh, we needed to do something about this. So the idea was to put this chef's academy together to bring, it was going to be nine chefs we were going to be looking for, to take them on a bit of a journey from learning all about the different aspects of the kitchen and learning about them in great detail. So taking them to the source of the great British ingredient and teaching them to respect all the wonderful work that's done behind the scenes. And that really has, has worked. And the interest through all of these chefs growing as they have done so far has improved them. And we were only five months into the programme and it's still a long way to go. So they're, they're doing a great job. And, but yeah, we can talk in cheap, but this is all about uh, uh, putting, the, putting the words into action uh, with, the, with the dishes that they're going to create today. So I'm going to stop cook, talking about the Chef's Academy because I probably can talk about it all day. But with these guys getting easy back to the kitchen, and Stephen is going to say a few words. So, you know, you first. Get back to work. When we gave them the challenge of coming up with a three course menu, uh, this was only yesterday, they've literally had five hours to prep uh, the dish, they had a selected um, a select amount of ingredients and I think on, on the whole they've done phenomenally well, they've, they've worked well as a team um, and individually and the dishes that they've served today I would honestly serve them in the restaurant um, that I run back in Sussex. Well done today. Um, I'm very much this side of the wall. I'm like a fish out of water once, once you go through those doors there. So I'm arguably a good person to ask what I thought of the food because I am not an expert in these matters. But like most of us, I think I know what I like and I liked what you guys did for us today. It's difficult, we had to choose which we liked the best. I, I liked it all. <laughs> I love tasty food, I think we all do. And I love food that's beautifully presented. And I don't think any of us could find fault with any of the food that was presented to us today. It looked delightful on the plate and it tasted equally so. So whoever wins, um, you are probably going to win by a hair because I would imagine that the judging will be very competitive because the dishes that we were served today at our table was fantastic.
experience. Today was really about putting the whole thing together to see what they could, what they've learned, and how they could actually execute it in a way of feeding, feeding the, the customers. And no better way to do it in a, in a bit of a co competition format with the reds and blues team. Um, you know, the, the one team becomes two. Uh, as soon as they got their reds and, and blue hats on, they were two teams that uh, were then in competition with each other. And with all the knowledge that they'd been given, uh, we just gave them a whole bunch of ingredients, and they set about um, producing some great, great dishes. And so really, it was, a, it was a bit of fun. It was about collating all of the information that they'd learnt along the journey so far. So that was what today was all about, really. And we've had some great fun. So the winners of today, Master Chef meets Hell's Kitchen, is need a drum roll. Uh, is the red team. Yeah!